when pomalidomide was clinically introduced, this was for patients who were exposed to lenalidomide and bortezomib and had become refractory to these agents. But as pomalidomide has now been clinically used, CD38 monoclonal antibodies have now come into clinical practice. A pomalidomide uh, PASS registry was established to collect clinical data of patients receiving pomalidomide. We were interested to look at a patient subgroup who had been exposed to lenalidomide, botasimib, and daratumumab. And we had picked out about 170 patients who had received pomalidomide after having received these three main classes of agents. And we found that patients with triple class exposure had a shorter survival than patients who were double refractory to lenalidomide and botasimib. But we did not find any new safety concerns when patients were exposed to pomalidomide, despite being exposed to these three classes of drugs. So this defines a subgroup of patients where we need to bring in uh, better agents, particularly as we're seeing with BCMA-targeted therapy.